Hey guys, so um, I'm going to be teaching how to update uh, your mods to the latest version, uh, 8.4 for the beta, uh, or for the base game, but this is being recorded currently in beta 1, um, so things might change, um, but this is a video just to show how to update the weapons and a few new tools that uh, come in place with this new system. So first I'll get a weapon which I haven't touched yet, so I'll get this dagger out. So this dagger has not been updated yet, so I'll just show you all the new stuff. So there isn't much to do with the prefabs, the only thing that needs updating is the preview. So with the preview, as you see I've already uh, rotated it from uh, the previous version, but uh, now it has a generated icon, so you can generate the icon. And right there, it'll show a PNG, uh, an automatic, automatically made PNG uh, from the weapon. This means that this is what will show in the preview. And it also means that you can edit it to make it so it has a little icon and such. This also works with uh, weapons that have sheaths. So if you add the actual dagger into the sheath or the sword into the sheath, then uh, the sheath and the weapon it comes with will actually be in the preview. So that's a nice addition. This also fixes all the preview issues that, that mods like the Outer Rim had. Um, so overall, this is kind of a buff, uh, a nice a nice little addition. Another thing that's changed is the whoosh script. So this hasn't changed that much, but some of the JSON stuff is now in the SDK, along with uh, the trigger. So now you can make it so the whoosh only works when it's thrown, when it's grabbed, or both. So uh, it'll work no matter what. So now that I have this weapon, I'm going to go to say my mod pack is now complete. It's that the dagger pack isn't, but uh, just in the, as an example, I will go to Window, Asset Management, Groups. So I already have this open. You should get a little text box opening uh, saying to update your legacy bundles. This is basically bundles that you had before. Um, asset bundles are no longer a thing. So that means that uh, it is now in this addressable scheme. You'll need to update those. And once that's complete, you should get all of your uh, asset bundles in this one table. Um, you can move the top part to the side to make sure that you always have access to this. So, as you can see, I've made all of my daggers accessible here. So, I have dagger 10, which is this weapon here. Of course, it's not updated yet, but um, let's pretend it is. So, the first thing you'll notice is the new stuff. So, ignore labels because that isn't used. Uh, the main part you want to you wanna need here is the group name slash addressable name. These are what you reference in your JSON to get your dagger to load or to get your dagger to work or your weapon. Now this is pretty complicated or a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them all. I'm going to right click once it's done. Right click and I want to simplify the addressable names. As you can see now, say someone did create a drags dagger pack again or something. Um, then these names are uh, able to be overwritten and uh, overall it can kind of ca counteract with the mod. Um, of course, nobody's going to make a drags dagger pack anyway because there's no point, but they may create like a katana and the katana may be just be named katana. You don't want anyone to counteract that. So a new tool added is if you select them all, then you want to go up to game object. Is it game object? Hang on a sec. It's assets. Sorry, I want to go to addressables na rename wizard. So that's for my previous. So now you have all of these selected. This is really good um, to make it so the names are unique for your prefabs. So what I'm going to have here, replace is to replace them all with one text, but append is what's going to happen at the beginning of this. So I'm just going to put at the beginning drags dagger pack 
dot. Now it'll apply that to the beginning of each one to make sure that it isn't countering, counting with another one. So uh, this is to make it free of any issues that may arise. Make sure it's not conflicting with another mod. Another cool thing is if you go to Window, Asset Management, you have all of these sorts of stuff here. And the Asset Bundle Browser. It's not letting me configure the other ones for some reason. But if you click on one of them, it'll tell you what's here. So it'll tell you how big the size is, what bundle it's in. I wonder if it'll work if I drag. Okay, so you can looks like you can drag it on. I'm not sure if that adds it to one of the packs. Uh, so the darkness mace, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't look like it adds it onto uh, the pack. Uh, but you can click it and it'll show you what the components are up, which is pretty neat. Now you go on to the mod builder. So the mod builder um, is how you build your assets. So now that I have my new dagger pack, which is right here, it's grayed out. Don't really worry about it. Um, you want to select your game folder directory and you want to rename it because it now creates its own folder. So I'm going to name it the dagger pack. Uh, you want to untick these because you don't want to extract these two. So now I just have the dagger pack which is extracting. Make sure that the game folder directory is not at streaming asset, it's actually at the blade and sorcery directory, which is here. Oh, not here. Uh, I'll do it anyway. So I'll go on to my streaming assets. I'll just go to the blade and sorcery folder here, which should have blade and sorcery underscore data and mono bleeding edge. And then I select that folder. Now, a cool thing with this addressable is you can now actually run the game after um, it's been built. And if you really needed to, you can clean the destination, which removes all the JSONs. I don't know why you would need that, but it does that anyway. So now we'll click build and export. Of course, it is slow. Um, it'll still need to import and do all the shader. You don't want to purge the build cache. Save the scene, and it'll start building everything. You might get an error underneath here. I know I got one. I'm not sure why. It shouldn't affect your uh, extract, however. But if it does, just keep extracting, and it'll, it'll eventually work. So I'm going over to my... While that builds, I'll go over to my map SDK. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh... I don't think anything of the map SDK has actually changed. So it's importing that stuff at the moment for some reason. That's fine. So I'll go back onto my streaming assets folder. Now the thing has changed about the streaming assets folder. Ignore these and that and that and just ignore the things I'm selecting. So, there's a new AA folder. Don't touch it. It's for Windows, I believe. Yeah. Um, the default folder now is different, so it has two subfolders inside it, along with a README. Which is here. Do not change this. Uh, you will not be able to revert back without in reinstalling. Um, and then, mods is actually in its own separate folder now. So, I have my mods here. Of course, my dagger pack isn't there yet. So, now that my uh, dagger pack is compiling its shader variants, which does take a good while, um, I will show you how to do the addressables. So, I'll just create my dagger pack folder. You don't need to, um, but I'll just create it here for the time uh, until the extracting is complete. So, I'll just find, I'll go into the streaming assets folder. I'll get default again, just to get the original items. So I will select the dagger common and copy it. 
So now the items have changed a little bit. So I will re the item JSON has changed a little bit. So of course I'll name it to the obvious changes and I'll edit. So the the JSON has changed a bit as I said. Uh do all the obvious stuff first. Now the prefab address is what you set the uh, the new addressable name to be. So for example, because I changed it so it has um drags dagger pack at the beginning, it'll have to be drags dagger pack dot dagger eleven. For example. All this stuff has not changed. Um now the weapon class module has changed, so instead of it being a number, it is now a string. So weaponing handling, uh this used to be zero for one handed, uh, but now it's literally just called one handed, which is very nice. And of course all this has to be changed to I won't change this yet, I'll do it when I actually have to update the mod. Um so yeah. That's what's changed in the JSON. Um if you want to update your I didn't realise I named the mod uh, the folder wrong, doesn't worry about that. So um if you were to make waves um I haven't really looked into creature JSONs yet, uh but what I have realized is if you notice that the one handed has changed for the weapon class, then um so has loot tables. So if I go into the default folder. So loot tables now. Uh, their reference used to be 1 for table and 0 for item. Um, item mainly meaning so the reference ID is now um, is, is talking about the item. But the reference table means that it's referencing another loot table or container. I actually meant container. I don't know why I'm searching that. So here. So um, the reference actually means table because this is a uh, loot table here. So that'll mean that it'll pull from the loot table. However, if you're talking about a specific item ID, it's going off the apparel battle mage chest here. This is one item, not a loot table. So the reference is now item instead of zero and table, which is one, which is no longer valid here. Anyway, once it's all extracted, uh, I'll just go to my boss battles mod because that is uh, is extracted. You will now be given the boss battles asset bundle. You will also have the catalogs. Do not delete these. These are very important to have. And you'll have the default package Unity built-in shaders bundle, which also needs to be kept. So there are a little uh, more added um, files, uh, but don't delete them. They're quite important. I haven't updated these yet, but I've gotten all these here. Anyway, I hope this helps on updating your mod. Um, I know it's a bit shambly, I'm stuff, stuff is still a little bit hazy for me at the moment, uh, but when 8.4 finally releases, uh, I'll make a proper guide on how to update your mods when I'm more familiar uh, with the mod itself. So this should have extracted now. As I said, I could not find path, but the mod should be there now. Yep. So now it has the asset bundle. It looks like the built-in shaders is removed from this version now because I've updated the SDK recently but do not delete these whatever you do you also need a manifest JSON as always um, make sure that the version is 8.4 so Vortex users don't get confused alright so thank you for listening um, I hope you guys update your weapons uh, if you have any issues just message me on discord uh, I'll make a proper version uh, once 8.4 is released so this is more easy to understand for everyone uh, but right now I'm just making it for the modders, so it's going to be unlisted. So yeah, enjoy.